It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Commanders coming up next. Just a little ways east from the nation's political arena. We're in a much different type of arena here. Commander's Field in Landover, Maryland. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage. And maybe six points, too. To kick off, here's Riley Patterson. And we're off and running from Landover. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. So here come the Cowboys for their opening drive. Bringing him out, coming off one of his best seasons as a pro, an MVP runner-up finish in year number nine, Dak Prescott. I don't think I'm alone in this, Kate. To me, Dak is one of the easiest players to root for their success in the NFL. I think for me and for many others, it's based on all he's overcome, from tough playoff losses to significant injuries. But his leadership, his stats, his ability to play like an MVP in big moments, at his best, he really is all you could ever ask for. Drive starts with a quick throw left complete. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Give him eight yards on the play. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Find me an offense that won't take that type of result every snap. Good execution, a quality gain, and then move the sticks. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. They're going play action. to the 25 before going out it's a pickup of 26 and that's good for a Cowboys first down you know what I like about that Kate I like that they're not coming out slow they're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball they'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Here's second and 11. He's going to push one deep down the right. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. So they're left facing third and long. Oh, that is going to haunt him. A drop touchdown in the end zone. We'll see how good his mental toughness is. If he can move past it quickly and make an impact for them later. Third and long for him here. Reeled in at the seven. And he drives this forward to the six. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game, and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. The 
He'll try and punch it in. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. This is going to go as a pickup of four. Second and goal coming up. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Cowboys finish up an excellent opening series. So that right there, exactly what you're looking for in the opening drive of a game. And these opening drives are tone setters. You come out flat, maybe you go three and out. Sometimes there's a carryover effect, Kate. But here, they were sharp, they were crisp, and they grabbed the early lead. Brandon Aubrey now on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. now to kick this one away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So now the Commanders will get their turn at an opening drive of the game. And leading them out is the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. Jaden's the closest thing we've seen to Lamar Jackson. And while there's only one Lamar Jackson, the two-time MVP, Jaden's going to push him a little bit in this league. He is a tremendous athlete. Over 1,000 yards rushing down the SEC, and he's just got the instincts, the feel to know when to run it. Man, he can also sling it. A quick, compact, accurate release. I can't wait to watch this guy's skill set unfold in the NFL. Looking right, and he brings it in. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 37. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl right, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Now Daniels to throw. Finds his man en route complete. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while, you know you could take a lick at any time. Second and six coming up here. Trying the inside hand off to Eckler. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. And the Cowboys bringing on an extra DB here. Third down coming. Daniels back to throw. And that one's incomplete. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. Commanders punting on fourth down, and they're going to bring out the ever reliable lefty vets, Tressway. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it that one. Headed for the sideline. 
This punt out of bounds on the fly. We're waiting for the mark. Looks like they're going to say it's short of the 30. Dallas sending its offense out for the second time this game. They already hold an early advantage here on the road. So looking for another touchdown to take full control of this game. They've got first down from the 31. To throw, Prescott. Falls to the ground out left, incomplete. The tip definitely broke up that throw. So second down coming up. The trajectory of that ball changes while it's in flight. I'll tell you this, Kate, on shorter throws, these receivers are so good to adjust, can still bring it in. But over a long distance, a tip like that alters the course of the ball, and it sure makes it tough to adjust in time. Looking right, and he finds him. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on it, and then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat, throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. He managed six on the play, bringing up second and four. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. From the 47, got Lamb, and it's complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. Still on his feet. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep it moving forward. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Here's a give up the middle. And this one doesn't go far. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes them to third and five. You know, Kate, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. you got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. From the gun on third down. That'll be complete to Elliott. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed. Enough to keep this drive moving. They've got first down from the 31. Prescott set to pass. Throw complete to Lamb. And they stop him. He's marked down along that 18-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on the route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after it. Working inside the red zone. It's taken in by Lamb. And he's going to be just inside the 10 before he goes out. Kate, if you and I took a whirlwind tour and watched young quarterbacks, the hardest route to complete is this one. A lot of them could throw go routes and slants and drags and in cuts. But throwing that out route takes some time, takes some precision, and a whole bunch of trust between QB and receiver. They are throwing it again. He's got it! And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. One quarter down for these two NFC East teams. Neither side separating much so far. We'll return to Landover right after this.
Time for our second quarter now. Let's see if the Cowboys can capitalize here in the red zone. Going ground on first and goal. And he makes it across. Touchdown, Dallas. The Cowboys take a 13-point lead. For the point after, here's Aubrey. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Aubrey now to kick this one away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Back out on the Commanders for their second drive of the game. They haven't been able to get that offense going just yet, Brock. The deficit at 14. First and ten now from the 30. Now the shotgun give to Eckler. And he maneuvers through the middle for a gain of four. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Second and six coming up here. Here's an RPO, looking left, caught. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. That's really good instinct by the eyes up in the sky. The play caller seeing space on the perimeter, a well-timed screen, and a positive gain out of it. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Here's Daniels. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Motioning one of the tight ends. Handoff on second and short. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. But with a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. All right, Cowboys showing nickel set third down. To throw, Daniels. Complete beyond the marker. And they take him down right along the 30. They pick up 20 yards there. And the Commanders will have a first. You know, Kate, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush your passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. First and 10 now from the 30. Shotgun handoff now to Eckler. And he gets this forward to the 19. It's a pickup of 11. And that'll be good for a Washington first. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning. 
like a piston in an engine, and that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Running with Eckler again. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Staying with Eckler. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. It's a pickup of five, and that brings up second and goal. This is a guy who, man, when he is in a group, when he is feeling it, you're just not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. You better buckle up. You need a textbook tackle on this guy. Wrap, grab some cloth, and drive him to the ground with all you got. Back now, pressure on its way. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders make it a one-score game in the first half. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony mm -hmm. Gonzalez to Travis mm -hmm. Kelsey, mm -hmm. the position can be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. Riley Patterson on for the extra point. One splits the uprights, and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. This return starts at the five. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. The Cowboys and Ezekiel Elliott just about set to get going on offense. And we'll see if the perfect start can continue as they try for their third touchdown in three drives. First and ten now from the 30. Now here's Prescott. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. <laughs> Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. Second and six coming up here. Now Dak to throw. He's got a man left. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Dak to the air here. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Trying an inside give to Elliott. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Here he is on third and long. 
The shutdown field will wind up incomplete. You hear defensive coaches preach this all the time about not giving up the big play. Keep everything in front of you. We're going to need to stay vigilant because he's definitely a receiver who can take the lid off of a defense. Cowboys putting it away here on fourth, and it's the long-time vet Brian Inger on now. And he's got this fair catch right along the 12-yard line. The Commanders and QB Jaden Daniels headed out for their next look on offense. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Pass complete to his back. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset? Man, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch. And it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. Big shot to begin the drive. Has him up beyond the 40. On first down, they'll run. And he gets him one as we come up to the two-minute warning. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Throwing now, Daniels. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. That one intended for Jahan Dotson. So now it's going to be third and long. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away. The next time, well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. Throw on third down. He's on the move. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. The Cowboys signaling for their first time out. As they'll get together and discuss with fourth down coming up. So they bring Tress Way back out there for another punt. Cavante Turpin on the return for the Cowboys. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Nice kick there. It's a punt of 53 yards. The Cowboys offense headed out there. They didn't add to their lead last time out. So they punted it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Here's Dak. Ferguson there to bring it in. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. Second and three now. From the 32. This one's hauled in on the left side. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Third down from the gun. He has the first over the middle. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. <laughs> I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route. They get one step inside of you. Well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. 
Back to throw. Here's Dak. Complete out to the right. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. They'll throw it again. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Mike Sandra still makes the play. And the Commanders might be able to get some points late after the interception. That's so cool. He really did it all for him, didn't he? First, he forced the turnover, and then he set them up in a better spot with a really nice return. Yeah, he had designs on doing the scoring for him, too. One more move, and he might have broken it for six. Commanders starting out in a good spot this drive as they get set. First and ten. Daniels. Able to find Ertz. And he's going to be across midfield close to the 45 before going out. Second and six coming up here. From the 46. A massive shot towards the end zone. And we all saw it. Flag came out just before that one fell incomplete. They may still get some big yards out of this one. So halftime has to wait one more snap. That pass interference call means we've got an untimed down coming up. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. So we've arrived at halftime with the Cowboys enjoying a lead on the road. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to our studios in Orlando. Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our Halftime Report. We saw the vet with plenty left, Ezekiel Elliott, putting together a strong first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Aubrey now to kick this one away. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Out comes the offense from Washington to begin the third quarter. He'll try to get that ground game established better than they did in the opening half, Bronx. See if they can attack that deficit. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Now Daniels to throw. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Second down now. Seven to go. Option design here. And he's brought down for a loss. Now might be a good spot to remind everybody about for the thousandth time how much better athletes these D tackles are today, Kate. A decade or two ago, they just ate up space. Now, they eat up running backs. A less than ideal third and eight here. Back to throw. Here's Daniels. Has a man inserts. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. You know, I don't mind the scheme. In fact, I like the call. 
just not on that third down in particular. Need to get it closer to the sticks to have a chance to move those chains. The commander's ready for the punt. It'll be Tress Way doing the honors. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. They're out and set, first and ten. Elliott straight ahead. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs bottled up at the line. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Not every corner in this league can make the play he just made right there. Sure, there's pure coverage, guys. Not really known for their tackling, but this guy, well, he's someone who isn't afraid to stick his nose in there and make a stop. Second and ten now. Escapes the pocket. Now here he goes. Well, this is an every quarterback's tool belt. Even the ones not regarded as the best movers and shakers. But, Kate, to play QB in the league today, you've got to be able to do this. If you've got nobody open, still get some positive yards with your legs. They come to the line here. This is third and six. To throw, Prescott. That's caught for the first. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. That's what they call staring down the gun barrel. You know as a quarterback you're about to get absolutely blasted, but you've got to deliver an accurate throw just like that. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here's Prescott. He finds the open man there, complete. And he will score, touchdown Dallas! The Cowboys push their lead further to start the half. Now in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. For the point after, here's Aubrey. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Aubrey now to kick this one away. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The commanders all set to regain possession. They find themselves down 21 to 10 as they take over. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Eckler running dead ahead. And his effort results in maybe two yards, but nothing more. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. From the 28, it's caught Eckler. 
And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. That's 16 on the pickup. And the Commanders will have a first. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get them enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. Ball on the 45, first and 10. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stopped right at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and 10. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Here's Daniels. Couldn't bring it in over the middle, incomplete. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game, and now they're staring at fourth and long. You know, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. He signals for the fair catch and brings it in. No return on that punt. And the Cowboys will be backed up to begin the drive. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Elliott running out of the gun. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they got a tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. They're going play action. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. First time this game they've looked to him. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Hey, listen, drops happen in football, even from the best at every level. Nothing more to do but shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be right back your way. To the air, third and long. He's on the move. He's running for it. And he's able to get it to the 21 as he goes down. You know, that's a situation. May have worked out better if he'd thrown the ball. His running ability gets him a chunk of yards, but still some work to do to get that first down. The Cowboys setting out their punting unit. And this will be his second effort of the contest. Fielded at the 35. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That one an impressive 57-yard kick. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. Commanders starting out in a good spot this drive as they get set. First and ten. Hand off now to Eckler. And he gets up for a gain of about four. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. Mark Slareth, two-time Super Bowl winner, says if you want to run the ball, you got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. 
From the 44 here on second down. It's taken in by Eckler. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. The handoff on third and short. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I don't know what it is, Kate, but I love third down runs. I really do. I know the receivers don't always like it because money down and they want the ball, but a third down run for a first down can be so demoralizing to that defense. Ball on the 45, first and 10. To throw, Daniels. This is hauled in by McLaurin. And he works this to the 38 before going down. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 38. It stops him on the catch. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Kate, one thing I learned from the late great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes just like that. They'll run here on first down. No one around. He's got space. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. This is the end of the third quarter. It's Commander's football, and they'll get to work coming into the quarter trailing. They have themselves another first and ten. Working inside the red zone. He brings it in. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually they do give him the ten yard line. Second and six coming up here. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The commanders lower the deficit to a single possession. Terry McLaurin with the touchdown. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. And now the Commanders face a very important two-point attempt. He's throwing for it! And he's got it. That gets him two and puts them within a field goal here late. Critical two-point play there, Brock. The conversion puts them now in range of tying this sucker up with a field goal. So different for everybody in the building, right? A three-point game and especially mm. different for the kicker. He wasn't needed there, but get yourself ready. Your defense does the job. You may need a game-tying field goal at some point soon. Volley set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Cowboys about set to take over. 
And after that touchdown, cut their lead back to one score, Bronk. A response in order as they take over. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Now here's Prescott. It's taken in by Lamb. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. Kate, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. On the give, it's Elliott. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. From the 39. Got a man open. Complete. Cowboys make it a nine-point advantage. C.D. Lamb with the touchdown. Now, I know that's one of his favorite routes to run, Brock, but that has got to be one of a quarterback's favorite throws to make as well, right? Drop it in over the defender and take the lid off the D for six. Because it is so, so simple. Mm. It's something that these two have done and, and thrown together for years and years. Maybe not to each other, but since Pop Warner, they've been running the goal route. Just run right by him, and if you're even, you're leaving, and I'm going to drop it right over the top. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Kickoff taken at the three. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Commanders headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. <laughs> Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Daniels now. He gets this one to McLaurin. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. He gets enough for a first down. Nice find by the rookie quarterback from LSU. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Throwing with a blitz on the way. Got a man, coverage lost him, complete. And he's able to get this down to the 36. They strike for 23 yards. And that'll be good for a Washington first. Yeah, these in cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. First down, ball at the 36. Throwing now, Daniels. And down he goes, the Cowboy defense gets it done. And the big play drives them backwards, second down coming up. 
final quarter, this quarterback's just feeling the need to do a little extra, try to make something happen outside the pocket. But the problem, <laughs> defense wouldn't let them. They have that same kind of urgency. They want to make some plays of their own before they hit the showers. And they got one right there with that sack. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Another try following the sack. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And they bring him down around the 34. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. Now Daniels to throw. Has a man. It's Ertz. Decent gain here, but short of the first. You get to that money down, that third down, you look to your money players, and this tight end is capable of it. Let's give some credit to the defense right there. Did an amazing job not only sticking to him, but bringing him down before he can move the chains. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll bring it back to within a score. The lead seven. This is a case of, well, just get what you can on the way out the door, Kate. It's already out of reach. Just take the three, let your kicker get some points, and make it a hair closer in the box score. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. That's going to be taken in at the 8. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. And he finds himself across an important benchmark for yards this season after that last drive. He stayed pretty busy this season, and the numbers show just that. First and ten now from the 30. Now Prescott. Open receiver caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas. The Cowboys take a 13-point lead. There sure was a lot of trust on that play, Brock, and he proved worthy of it with that end result. Yeah, good old receiver. Someone who just knows how to get it into the end zone is worth his weight in gold to a QB. And on that throw, there was trust there that he had a shot to find Pater. For the point after, here's Aubrey. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Aubrey now to kick this one away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Washington ready to go on offense as they take the field. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. They're out and set. First and ten. Daniels back to throw. And down he goes. The Cowboy defense gets it done. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. 
My goodness, was that some kind of speed off the edge? There's only a handful of tackles in this league that have the lateral movement to stay in front of an end like that. It may be time for this quarterback to start mixing up his cadence, his count, certainly making sure this defensive end can't get off the way that he has. He finds the open man there, complete. They got 24 yards on the play. And the Commanders will have a first. They've run this 12-yard out route, Kate, at the Combine, well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. Dump off complete to his running back. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well, and it sure keeps a defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Second and three. Put the body on the line for his team. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. That is all-out effort, Kate, to make the catch. Putting his body on the line, diving for the ball. He earned that reception. And some more targets are clearly coming his way in the future. A dose of the hurry-up offense here. Back to throw. Here's Daniels. To the left side, and it is caught. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there, and there's nothing this defense can do. And he's tackled for no gain. We've hit the two-minute warning here in D.C. Commanders losing by 14. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Throwing it again here. Complete, it's McLaurin. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. The Commanders in the hurry up. They're hustling for the line. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. And it'll be second and goal. Still a couple of shots at this one. I think we're seeing why this defense likes him in coverage. He reacts so well to throws and is even more adept in breaking up those passes. Looking to throw it. Flush down out to his left. And that's a touchdown, at least for the moment, Brock. But there's a flag out there. I think that they might wipe this one away. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Opportunity here for this defense if they can make this stop on third and goal. To throw. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. You know, that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. Throwing now. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders make it a one-score game. Wow, just fantastic work there. Tiptoeing along the back line. The concentration was there. Great catch for six.
Yeah, the concentration and the body control. I don't know how these receivers do it in this day and age. There's no space to work with, yet they have such an awareness to secure it first, to tap dance the line, and go get that touchdown. Patterson on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. So with less than a minute and a half to play, they must recover this onside effort. And the Cowboys manage to recover the football. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed it. First and 10 from the 42. This is Elliott running right. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. The commanders take a timeout. They're first. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. Pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Washington calls it second time out. And they'll have just one left to burn now. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Here he is to throw. Catch made by Colts. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. And they'll take a knee. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Second down, probably going to see him kneel it again here. And he takes a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Well, Brock, I think we're both thinking another meal likely coming here on third down. So the Cowboys come in and take this one on the road. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work, and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. So that'll do it for this one. With Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Cowboys are winners. As with that, we sign off from D.C.